Hello, and welcome to my first Final Cut Express tutorial. Um, today I'll be covering the basic clone effect in Final Cut Express. Let me go over to Final Cut. Okay, now, to do this effect, um, firstly I'm going to show you with only two videos. So let's just go over to this one. We're going to drag that into the timeline. Hold on, okay. Drag that into the timeline. Good. Nextly, we're going to look for another clip with the object standing at a different side. So, okay. Let's use this part. And we are going to superimpose that over the over this clip. So at the end it'll look something like this. Obviously you'll, you're only going to see the clip on top. To fix that, use the crop tool over here. And simply... Wait, okay. Simply drag that out. And it'll look something like this. Obviously, afterwards, I'm gonna apply the muzzle flashes coming from the gun, but this is just this is just basic. Um, let's move on to another clip. Let's drag that into the timeline once again, and then I'm gonna go to a different clip where I'm at the other side. Out. Superimpose, and once again, crop. So you'll have something like this. Let's put that in here as well. And then let's get a clip at the side. Alright. Superimpose. Crop. Hold on. Alright. Alright, now for this, for example, if you want to make it look as if you're doing some sort of a trick. Just move the clip where you want to start over here. And it'll look something like that. Let me do a little bit of the cropping. Okay, so it'll look something like this. So that's how you do the cloning effect in Final Cut Express. Let me just show you how the whole thing came out. Now remember, this can be done with more than two subjects. I'm just doing this because it's the easiest thing. So yeah, that's how you do the cloning effect in Final Cut Express, and it'll work in Final Cut Pro as well.